afternoon. It is September the 11th, 2007. Earlier, I shared how I was prejudiced against the blacks by early environmental situation where I heard a lot of bad things about them. And then in life experience found out that, hey, they're mighty fine people. You got to take them as individuals and not just go on all this racial bigotry thing. Now I want to talk about the Hispanics, the Latinos, the Mexicans, whatever you title you want to use, because it's a very current thing here in 2007, and it's going to be a big thing in the 2008 election. I suppose I heard a little something about the Latinos, the Hispanics, as a kid, but I don't remember it, but suspicion maybe I did hear, you know, they take a nap in the afternoon. Must be a kind of lazy group of people. Hey, living down here in Yuma, Arizona now, I can guarantee you why they take a nap in the afternoon. We've been down here a little less than a week, and I've done about uh, 30 hours of work trying to straighten up my yard and get some seeds planted and so on. I get up with the daylight. I get up with the sun, and I cannot tolerate the heat after about 9 o'clock. So I'm getting in about 3 hours in the morning, after a while, I'll go out again. I have every evening but one when I was just too tired to go. Get another three hours in the evening. So in the five days that we've been here, I put in about 30 hours of work. By God, I could take a nap or do whatever in the afternoon like I am here. Today I took a nap, and now I can do this inside with air conditioning. <whistles> no wonder they say air conditioning and water made possible the settlement of Arizona. Well, it didn't have any exposure I know of that I remember in the Army or anywhere. But after getting out of the Army that first time, down in Enid, Oklahoma, living in public housing, heck, I didn't even know what public housing was. I just knew that somebody said, hey, you kids don't have any money? $75 a month GI Bill, thank you. And I saved up a little in the Army. Well... Next door, Bob and Louise Burns. Bob, a bus driver for the Enid bus system. Louise, a pretty Mexican housewife. And oh, she was a nice neighbor. She and Donna shared a lot of good times together. And the little bit I saw of her and of Bob, good neighbors, good people. Well, then, you know, I got a job. Worried about being responsible as a fellow was about to have a first baby and quit the baseball team, got the job, got kicked out of public housing, paid more money to rent way less housing up for the college. Strange way the world works. Heck, if I'd had a little more experience, I'd have known enough to play baseball and enjoy it and live better in a nice, clean public housing. Well, the years go by, and we're up at Elkhart, Kansas. The Rodriguez family lived there. Some of the Rodriguez still live there. Dick Rodriguez, at least a year or two ago, was mayor of Elkhart. Maybe he still is. But one day, a staff member said, Mary Rodriguez, who was a junior or senior at the time, is tearful and sad and depressed, and why don't you talk to her? So I got her away from the teachers and the kids, and then the office said, Mary, what's wrong? My dad's a railroad her, and we have been in Pueblo before, and his promotion would take him to Pueblo, and we're afraid he's going to take the job. Well, honey, you should be proud of your dad. Don't be feeling that way. Support him in this. That's great. Uh-uh, Dr. Riggs. No, I wasn't Dr. Riggs then. Mr. Riggs, you don't understand. Here in Elkhart, Kansas, we're just people. But in Pueblo, Colorado, we'd be Mexicans and be treated in a way that was not like we're treated here. It would be bad, bad for all of us. I don't know if Mr. Rodriguez took the job in the family state or what, but the, the family didn't move. I don't remember the details. Later, Donna and I and uh, Jim and Bonnie Heidebrecht sponsored the senior trip that Mary was on. And what a sweet girl, what a nice group, and what a great time we had. I think it was within a year of that that we attended Mary's funeral. She died young of some disease. I don't remember what. But one thing for sure, 
Elkhart, Kansas judged the family on the good American tradition of what you are and what you do and not on the basis of who your grandparents were or what color the skin is. Three cheers for Elkhart. Three cheers for the Rodriguez's.